Now we talked with a Red Wing woman who isn't quite so sure about those changes. She's a breast cancer survivor and tells us she has no family history of it. She says she wouldn't have gone in for her mammogram at all if it wasn't for her dog. Here's ABC 6 News anchor Laura Lee. Up, up, up. If you know anything about Tara Leonard Heiberg, come on. You would know Willow is not far behind. Hi, Willow. Tara got Willow six years ago and they've been inseparable. I couldn't imagine life without her. That proved true when Willow kept jumping at Tara's side as if to tell her something. She jumped up again, um, pushed on it again, told her to get down. Um, she got down that second time and was kind of snorting and sneezing on the floor and kind of looked at her like, what are you doing? She got back up the third time. This time her nose was wet, slimy and gross. Um, I went to go wipe it off and that's when I felt the lump. Tara went in to get it checked out and never would have imagined what would happen next. And the words out of her mouth I will never forget is, well, I'm sorry, I don't have good news for you today. She's like, you do have breast cancer. Tara's world stopped. She was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer last November at the age of 40. She says she has no history of cancer in her family. It doesn't matter if it's in your family or not. You know, I mean, now it runs in my family. Average risk women who have no family history or other risk factors, there are about 50% of them will get breast cancer. Dr. Sandy Apruthi is a general internal medicine doctor at Mayo Clinic. She doesn't know Tara, but says cases like Tara's are more common than we think. Women any age, if they do notice something different on their breast or something has changed, that is an important thing to take to their doctor to have it evaluated promptly. Medical experts say despite the recommendations from the American Cancer Society to start getting mammograms later in life, the bottom line is it's important to get your mammograms in your 40s and to do them annually. They're actually con continuing to support what we've always known is that mammograms do reduce cancer death. Uh, had she not jumped up there, had I not felt the lump, um, I don't know. I mean, I know that I wouldn't have gotten my mammogram when I did. Crediting her dog with saving her life. She's my true companion. Now sharing her message to all women to get tested. Get to know your body. Notice any changes. Do yourself breast exams. That way you'll know when there's a difference. And don't wait. Will. That was Laura Lee reporting. Doctors were able to remove Tara's tumor and surrounding tissue in time. After five months of radiation and a year-long road to recovery, Tara is cancer-free. So glad to hear that. She'll also be graduating with an associate's degree in veterinary technology next year. Congrats said, to her. Very fitting for her.